I guess I could just put my power armor on, but I think instead I'll try and just travel to Diamond City. If I go to Diamond City, I can meet up with Piper, and then I'd have another pair of hands helping me with this. <clears throat> yeah, when you go back to Fallout 3 and get adjusted to that, you can sort of appreciate the upgrade again. But then at the same time, uh, I don't know, some of the additions to Fallout 4 almost uh, make it over and cumbersome. Where you might like Fallout 3 or New Vegas more. And then also it's like the graphics aren't actually pleasing exactly. They're just slightly better. the dog will just have to find its own way. going on here. None of them are appearing as red dots yet. Well, there's a shootout happening, but... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Did you see how many times I missed... Good dog. Looks like the armor is not full body anymore. Oh, I thought that was him right there. I think my perception is so low they're just not appearing on the compass. I couldn't really tell if uh, these guys were attacking me or not. I think I should have uh, customized my face more. Alright.
I guess I can wear the spike armor for a little bit. To eat some food too. Swirl on a stick and Oh uh, wow, that healed me up all the way. Sided. Okay. gonna explode Even looking at the bodies, it's kind of annoying because you're looking down still. Wow, and there was another person here. These are the Brotherhood of Steel.
sad. Drag it. I don't like uh, reading this. Yeah, like when you're video recording and I'm just looking at the perks and reading them. Yeah, I guess I'll get uh, max health. And I just have to choose faster when you're recording or look at them when you're not recording. I don't think they're that good. Hey, we appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Trying to survive. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, <clears throat> I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Vault uh, 111. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Hire me. That all depends. How much are you paying? We need allies, not opportunistic <clears throat> mercenaries. I have no inclination to pay for your services. Let me help. I'll continue to help. But you owe me an explanation first. Very well. Can you believe I'm that? We're dense. not going to pay steal. you? Over there is Scribe Halen and Night <clears throat> We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems. And it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? Are you willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yes. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Oh god, I don't remember what they said. Yeah, I don't really listen too well when things talk. Nice, 400 XP. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel missions aren't that good, actually, because they just become these really pointless, repeating missions that don't really accomplish anything, but they always sorta give you something to do if you just wanted to do something. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll get those Brotherhood fatigues. Uh, whoops. And a gross. And, uh, let's do a save. Alright, I was using this for a while. Let's try the rifle. 
sort of reminds me of bad guns in the first Borderlands. Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh God, my kids. Don't you dare bring him up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please, please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Interrogate. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. I'm telling you, I'm not a synth. You have to believe me. None of my business. No one's dying. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never gonna stop. I have to kill him. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Put the gun down. Persuasion attempt failed. Look, all I need is for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. No. No, you'll kill us both. How'd this happen? Why don't you just tell me how this happened? How this uh, Fine. I was on my way to Bunker Hill. I round a bend, and I see this guy. Me. Gun drawn, ready to fire. After that, it's a... Uh, it's a blur. I scuffled for a while, but I won. Now, I don't know what else I can say to convince you. He's the synth. Now, are you gonna get out of my way? Take you down myself. You won't be doing anything if I take you down first. Oh, thank God. Damn it, I'll kill you both! Oh, no. <laughs> Why is he walking away? Excuse me, my kids don't have to grow up orphans thanks to you. Well, he should have said more than that. It's kind of weird that he just started walking away. Probably Diamond City over there. Keep moving, dog. Well, it knocked me off that ladder. No, oh, no! Well, that's what happens when you don't watch where you're going. I think that happened to me once in power armor. Just sort of stepped off of something. It's like... Did you want that to happen?
gosh, how do you use bats in this? C, X, Z. G, T, Y, E, Q, O. Q. Open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Well, I guess I should just I talk know to them. You're listening, Danny. Open the gate. <clears throat> you. You want into Diamond City, right? I want in. I just got here. But, yeah. Shh. Play along. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in? Or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Mm. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. <clears throat> Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Oh, these are sort of the uh, new Shut dialogue the scenes. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Sport news. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Sounds great. I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, 
Was there anything particular you came to our city for? Missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Who can help? Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for Without any more. Persuasion I'm attempt a failed. busy man. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Hmm. It's kind of strange. Yeah, now I'm almost caught up to how far I'm in in uh, VR. Yeah, you could really feel time passing traveling to Diamond City in VR because you were standing. And yeah, Diamond City looks good. Better than Rivet City anyways. Yeah, this is slightly more pleasing. And then I guess it still Andy looks kind of bad with all this cardboard everywhere. Secretary of his, her and her. Perfect air. Paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Hmm. Yeah, this all seemed kind of strange in VR. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. It was institute coming off a lot stronger. You should read up if you're sticking around. It's like, whoa. It's kind of weird. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, Mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Missing person. I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? My son. I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. Someone can help. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's going to help you, it's him. Yeah, I'm not really into dialogue games anymore. Thanks. Not since the first Ooh, Mass Effect. Help. Back Remember, then, the I did enjoy cover. dialogue Watch games. That. But other people still like that. Oh, whoa. Kind of misrepresenting yourself a little bit. Glad you dropped by. Are you holding up, Lou? 
Yes. Yeah. Holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Do the interview. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe <sighs> your time on the inside? We were frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Gives me hope. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? They might be. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. Now, I don't know. Sorts of overly inspiring. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway. I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. There we go. It doesn't seem like she's actually sitting on anything. Piper. Heading my way? Let's go. Sure, let's go. Will do. Sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Oh, looks like uh, you can only have Piper or dog meat in this one. Well, they're probably better than the dog. I swear, I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Oh my gosh, I was just about to Put travel. It looks like now. something's happening. He's a sin! He'll kill us all! Whoa! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond oh, City. That's kind of gross. Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Move along. Oh, this guy just helps himself all the time. Let's go back to that plant. Try and see if we can finish the mission with Piper's help. I think you get less XP. Because, uh, 
And she might kill things that you don't get an attack on, and then you don't get XP for it. But it's a very small amount of XP that you get from fighting things. And then hopefully this will be short and we'll call it there afterwards. And these loading screens are really long in VR too. Plus the audio wasn't sending right. Uh, but if I broadcasted it to a different laptop or computer, yeah, hey, just maybe. Pipe auto pistol. Okay, here we go. Use that for a little bit. Q one. Nothing there now. What do you think? I swear I must be going crazy. Going there. Seems like I'm doing fine without her.
music was still going strong. It's kind of annoying how they have to keep on checking all the uh, items. You know, what's this I'm walking past? Don't have any bobby pins. What is that machine gun sound? Uh, I don't know where all the gunfire is coming from. Hair bobblehead. Hell yeah. Fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. Looks like they got bobbleheads in this one.
Did I get everyone? Now I can I to run over all these stairs. Alright, I leveled up. I leveled up twice. Oh wow. No wonder I keep on failing at uh, these uh, persuasion attempts. Alright. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh no. I have to look at everything you can choose more later. Wait, let's get that gas mask. I don't remember eating food on my other playthrough. Weird. I don't know, maybe I did. It's like you also have so many stim packs.
I need to get up there. How do I get up there just to uh, get that loot? Or, oh, man, yeah, there were too many enemies here. This was taking a long time to do this. Yeah. Sort of an overly long and in depth first mission. I guess it's been like eight years since this game came out. It's crazy to think. What is the compass telling me to do? Is to go up higher? I don't understand. No, oh, here we go, local map. the problem here. It's like not dragging and stuff. Oh my god, I can't believe there's still more stuff to do in this map. How confusing the level design is. There's long loading screens for going through a door. Yeah, well the clock is ticking. Just trying to finish up this, you know, first level quest. This is why the VR isn't very good, because you'll have the headset on, you'll just be black screen for like a full minute. And it says I should go back into this door. And uh, well, it was a minute to go through this door last time. Now it will be another minute. It was a little bit quicker this time. Let's check out this door. It has an exit sign though, so that can't be good. No, it can't be that door.
probably have to go down and around or something. Well, it doesn't look like this is going anywhere. Oh god. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's down here. You know what this place could use? Cover. Let's check out the local map again. I mean, the waypoints show summary. Oh, no. Oh, it's another commonwealth. As you can sleep quick. Alright, I guess we'll try going out to the Commonwealth because there weren't any other doors. I don't know if they're just trying to waste your time or something. Come on! It's definitely been at least 40 minutes since I started. Should not be telling me to go back in there. Hatch. Check out this door. Now, what am I not doing in here? Anything look different? It has to be down here. Yeah, this looks a little different. All right, it just wasn't uh, the compass wasn't and map weren't giving me good directions. I think I'm finding my way, yeah. This guy is almost like a little boss. Maybe. 
seems like these are explosive. Oh no. No, okay, I guess those don't explode. just showed up. You know, it doesn't seem right. They don't seem like they're just raiders at this point. It's like, wow, they really killed a lot of people. A pool cue. Let's get that. Yeah, that was like a another settlement. Telling me to go to the Commonwealth. Is that because, uh, uh, did I finish the mission? Okay, yeah. Perfect. What is this mission called? I'll uh, put the name of the mission in the title. Yeah, the VR was a little difficult because, oh hey, baseball bat. I don't think he can aim as well. Oh uh, wow, looks like that wasn't the last one. Yeah, and then normally, if this was your first time, uh, 
when you would unlock a settlement, you'd be excited that you could build a lot of stuff in the settlement. But I also think that the building mechanic of the game is probably really uninteresting to watch in the video. Hey. I don't think uh, it's going to be any different than how the success of the video turns out. It took care of them. Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. I need to take care of something. The first step, that's what it was called. Take care of your gun, it'll take care of you. Well, you, you know that settlement you sent me to help? What the hell they is decided he doing? to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the He's right pointing his the gun at me for some the way, reason. You should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to me. How I am. All right, that was all right. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Quincy Massacre? What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the men and men betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the men and men to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Don't give up. As long as you don't give up. <laughs> oh my you're god. To survive. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. <laughs> That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Thanks. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Yes. Okay. Or the real okay. answer be is a no. Lot of responsibility, but I know you'll make this. I, I can switch her Good. out with him. I didn't Good. even realize that. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Quite a promotion. That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about- Yeah, it doesn't seem as good as Mass Effect 3 for some reason because- I'll mark it on your map. Their dialogue just, uh- Settlement supporting our call. I mean, it is better than Mass Effect 3, but the dialogue- isn't even though I mean Mass Effect 3 didn't have good dialogue but it sounded like uh, you know the video game I don't know how to explain it 
How do I get out of this house? Wait, a 10 millimeter pistol. All right. And hopefully that wasn't over an hour, but I feel like it could have been an hour and 10 minutes.